Hey everybody, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I try to keep this channel pretty positive. I don't really like to dwell on negatives too much, but uh, today I thought I'd explore my top five least favorite things in Abyssrium, aka the top five things I think need the most changing. Um, hi Parker. Um, I've decided against picking the name because that's a personal pet peeve of mine and it doesn't really affect gameplay. Personally, I think that's a really major issue, but we'll only be choosing things that affect gameplay. So, number one, or actually number five, the least awful issue of the most awful issues, is the wall at end vitality. I pretty constantly get a stream of people frustrated that they're around N or O vitality, and everything is just so slow, and they, they you know, they cast all their skills, they watch tons of ads, they, you know, try to spend their gems, they upgrade their coral like mad, um, uh, they, but they just can't reach the next fish, and, you know, everything is so slow. Um, the game kind of slows down at a few points, but N vitality is pretty much far and away the worst, and it kind of, it's so early on that it scares away a lot of players, and it's just so needless, like, it could be and it would still feel, you know, it would still feel slow and, you know, still have that feeling of, oh, dang, I finally overcame the wall. Um, but, like, I've had reports of people taking days or even weeks at the same letter of vitality stuck at N, and that's just no fun. Um, number four, which is only higher because it's not required, it's, um... Just, you know, paid stuff is optional in Abyssrium, but it still really sucks to see that um, the Supreme Package is a rotating $100 in-app purchase. Um, you see, the first, when Abyssrium first came out, it actually had a little harp seal, which was kind of odd. Um, in terms of appearance and animation, in my opinion. But, um, you know, if you wanted a harp seal, 100 bucks. For this, um, if you want to pay a hundred bucks for that, you know, that's one thing. Uh, I personally disagree. But, um, then, later on, they discontinued that. You can't buy the harp seal anymore. Instead, you can get the mermaid, which is also a hundred dollars. Uh, the, the, what this means is that even if you pay the, uh, about two hundred dollars it would cost to buy all the permanent fish, or the premium fish, um, you still don't have everything. Because you missed a previous $100 freaking in-app purchase. That's crazy. Like, in my opinion, like, there should be some sort of cascading thing where if you buy the $100 package, you get all of the previous fish or something. Like, $100 should be, like, the absolute most you could possibly even spend. And, I mean, even in my opinion, like, 50 bucks should be pretty much the highest they really request. Like, it's nuts. And... To add insult to injury, it's not just a hundred bucks. We have to pay them in basically annual installments or something of a hundred bucks. Like, that's that's crazy. Um, and it's just impossible now for new people to complete their fish list, even if they pay. And that's just nuts. I mean, it's almost good in a way because I'm hoping that'll encourage people to not pay one hundred dollars for a freaking fish, even if it is a mermaid. Uh, that's crazy. Um... Our next one is only worse than that because it is something that affects pretty much everyone. Number three on our list is the Striped Marlin, which is a pretty good fish, but its unlock pick condition is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense unless you actually have read my guide or, you know, have read about the hidden fish. You know, it says, take a picture of Striped Marlin, but how do you do that if you don't have a Striped Marlin? The way the Striped Marlin works is that every half an hour that you play the game, um, there's a chance, about a 10% chance, that marlins will be swimming around, and you'll have to take a picture of them. And once you take that picture, you unlock it. And people have all kinds of crazy conspiracy theories about how, you know, to make them show up more, or, you know, do whatever, and it's, none of them seem to work. It just seems to be an extremely low chance, and after a very long time, and so many people have trouble with this, and, you know, there's really nothing I can tell them. I wish there were some kind of, you know, surefire way, but it's really just time times randomness. It's it's just not fun, and 
It bugs a lot of people. Like, people go months without getting this fish. Like, very astute people that play, you know, pay a lot of attention, play the game intensely. They know their things. You know, they know their stuff. But it's just random times time. It's just unfun. And I like the idea of the unlock. I like the idea of them swimming around and you taking a picture of this new fish. But they're so rare. It's just crazy. Um, number two on our list is my least favorite fish ever. It's the Naso Tang! Look at this. You have to own 50 Tangs to get this ugly, stupid fish. It's not even a good fish! You waste 50 fish worth of vitality to get this ugly little sucker. Um, to demonstrate my point, what I've done here is I've filled my tank using only the fish that I used to unlock the Naso Tang and the Peppermint Angel. Here's the sucker. Here's this stupid little fish. Park. My freaking cat almost knocked my phone out of my hands. Thank you, my friend. Um, but yeah, this is how many fish you have to buy specifically to unlock two fish. That's nuts. Um, in my opinion, around three fish of, like, in terms of requirements, I think the most you should need to own of any singular species is about three. Like, to get the cuddle fish, you need to own three octopuses. That's, you know, having three isn't too bad. You know, if you like the octopus, you might just willingly get three. Um, to own 50 tangs, like, tangs, they're not bad. You know, they're okay. I don't want 50 of them, though. You, like, no matter how much you've played the game, 50 is a lot of fish. And if you're at certain parts of the game, like I am, um, it takes me about 10 to 20 casts of delicious food multiplied by Song of the Moon to get a new fish. Um, multiply that times getting 50 new fish, I, I would freaking rage quit. That's crazy. Uh, the Peppermint Angel isn't much better. You need 30, but it's, you know, that's only three-fifths as bad. Uh, in my opinion, those could be toned down to at most 10. 10 is a lot, but it's, you know, it's possible. Now, my absolute least favorite thing in the game currently is right down here at the bottom of the coral list. The pink tree coral and giant kelp, which cost 100 CS vitality and 90 DL vitality. I've been playing this game since it came out, which is about, what, six months now? Um, I would wager that I'm probably within the top 5% or more of um, vitality havers. You know, I, I, Very few people play this game more than me. I don't think it should be reasonable to expect somebody to have played more than I have. Um, and these aren't even within my reach. I would have to play pretty intensely for the rest of the following like month in order to even have a chance of getting at that CS vitality. Like I said, it's taking me around 10 or so, 10 to 20 casts of all of my skills to get one fish. One fish is maybe what? A tenth, I'll say, of a letter in terms of vitality progress. So, you know, we're talking hundreds of casts of everything. Um, thousands, even, to get all the way to DL. It, it's crazy. This These fish, they're not even bad fish. That's why Naso Tang... Um, that's why they're more annoying than the Naso Tang. Because the Naso Tang kind of sucks, honestly. And if you can't get the Naso Tang, it's not too upsetting. But the fish you miss by not having giant green kelp and the pink tree coral, they're good fish. They're good fish, Brent. Um, the basking shark is freaking really cool. Um, there's the freaking gulper eel. There's, um, there's everybody's favorite meme, the blobfish. You know, they're good fish. There's the mega mouth shark. Um, and to have these fish that are, they're basically unobtainable. They, in my opinion, like, I understand the general concept of, oh, they wanted to have something, you know, for late game that you can't get yet, but don't release it to the public if you're not, like, expecting anybody to actually be able to get it. That's worse. That's like dangling a carrot over somebody's head, and, you know, every time they try to reach for it, you just pull it out of their face. It's like, why is it there? It's just there to torture me. I, I want those things, but I, you know, reasonably speaking, I simply can't obtain them. Um, Abyssrium, they've said on their Facebook that they're going to add content that will make it easier to get there. They didn't really elaborate on it beyond that. But 
until we can actually get those fish, they shouldn't be there or they should be way cheaper. Like, honestly, the CC vitality I have right now, um, that should be, like, major endgame territory. That's, like, where I am right now is pretty much, roughly, where people who have been playing the game for months would be. Like, for a newbie to reach DL vitality without cheating and without playing every waking hour of the day, it's just not gonna happen. It's gonna take months. It's ridiculous. Um... These other, these first three coral were very expensive, but not quite too bad. Like, I think the lowest one was, like, BC Vitality. It was somewhere in the Bs. Um, the way Vitality works is that within a week, you can get to about Z Vitality. And then in another week, this is playing fairly intensely. Um, if you play even, if you play, like, every hour of the day, you can get faster. If you play, you know, pretty sporadically, it, it might take, you know, a few extra weeks. But, like... Getting just to Z is like a week. Then getting to AZ is maybe another week. It's pretty fast. But once you get to around BS Vitality, I mean, it's not called BS for nothing. It takes forever. And it only gets worse. It's gotten worse in C. And, like, they added some achievements. Like, um, they've added extra levels of Surging Vitality to get, you know, save one CD Vitality. But that won't really save it. Like, most of the new achievements they put are almost as unobtainable as freaking DL Vitality. It just, it doesn't help. You, you effectively can't get these fish without cheating or sacrificing your entire life upon the altar of fish. It's crazy. So, that's my top five, you know, least favorite aspects of Abyssrium. Um, there's some other things, like, there's bugs, there's the name issue... Um, but these are core issues of the game, and some of them, basically all of them, actually, are pretty easily fixed. You know, increase the spawn time, or decrease the spawn time and increase the spawn rate on the striped marlin, that's fixed. Um, change the naso tang to require 10 tangs instead of 50, fixed. Uh, change the frickin' DL vitality cost to, like, BS, that's already very far, fixed. Um, rotating $100 purchases, just don't do that. Bring back the stupid seal and bundle it with the stupid mermaid. I still wouldn't recommend paying $100 for virtual fish ever, frankly, but it's still even worse the way they're doing it. Um, the end vitality thing, um, that might require some tweaking and stuff, and, you know, maybe move some achievements around so you get a vitality multiplier in that neighborhood. You know, that might be the hardest one to fix. But, like I said, every, every week, at least, I hear somebody complaining that they feel stuck, and it's always at that point. Or it's where I am, and, you know, after the C C A vitality, and, you know, they're trying to get the fish down at DL, which, like I said, basically can't. So, I think those are the five issues that the game should fix the most, and, you know, would improve things for pretty much everyone, pretty much... You know, th these are issues that cover everybody from complete newbies with the uh, end vitality thing, which I've heard people quit the game over. Like, that's costing them money. Like, it's not just unfun. It, it makes people quit because not everybody knows it's going to get better. Because, I mean, why would you think that? Because, you know, all of a sudden it got worse and you have no reason to believe it's going to ever get better. Th that just feels desperate and it sucks. But yeah, I... I do like this game, as might be kind of obvious, but uh, those are five issues I really think they should check out ASAP. Especially that stupid tank. Oh my gosh.